first all the rain clouds left and now I sure man oh Monica card deleted successfully <laughs> What's up guys, my ass here and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, the Monica Brew. If you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, definitely check them out. Links in the description down below. The last one especially, Monica asked us directly, us to make a certain file in the game folder of Doki Doki Literature Club. We did so and uh... Yeah, we're kind of hoping now events will plan out a lot differently than they originally did. So we're going to get back into it here and check it out further. Let's go, Siori. Our bay, guys. I think she's kind of getting somewhere. So, so good so far. But yeah, enough of that jibber-jabbering. Let's get into it here. Again, links in the description to the last two episodes. You don't want to miss them out, otherwise you won't know what the heck is going on here. All five of us are going to make the festival the best day ever. Let's go. It's finally Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. <laughs> well, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Siori since I left her house yesterday. Okay. Hopefully nothing bad happens here. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Monica seems to bring up that she seems to be the one to blame for this a lot. I wonder if there's any truth to those words. Only if you knew, man. Only if you knew. I said I'd visit Siori again today, so that's what I'm doing. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Siori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Here we go. The house is quiet. Sure isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. I head up to her bedroom where I finally found her. Siori? Well, looks like she uh, isn't here. At least, not hanging around anyway. I'm sorry. Where is she then? There she is. And she looks all chirpy as well. Oh, hi Marisil. To my amazement, Siori is actually cleaning up a room? What? Is she a changed bear? Maybe. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming over. I was expecting you to be a bit later so I could have a chance to clean up my room. Siori, what's going on to you? You look great. <laughs> you think so? Siori tries to avoid eye contact. I feel a lot better too. That's so good. So good! So good! So good! She seems so full of colour today. Monica must have really talked it out of her last night. So, you aren't feeling depressed anymore? Actually, before we talk about that, can we step outside? Uh, yeah. What's she gonna talk to me about? Thank you. It just feels a lot more free out here. I can feel the air and it doesn't feel like torture. How are you feeling? Any better? When you're around, I, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> you know, I've had depression my whole life. It got worse, but now, don't worry about me. The thoughts of ending myself, they're gone. It's like I'm free of some burden. This is so different and so much better, dang it. Our girl, Siori. Things are turning and for the better. What about these rain clouds you talked about? The rain clouds? Um, Siori puts her hand out to her ear as if I'm listening to something. Ah, uh -huh, now that you mention it, um, they're gone too. Thank you so much, Marisu. She always shows me a big smile and wraps her arms around me. Unlike her smile on Friday, this seems truly genuine. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I release her embrace quickly, trying not to make it awkward for myself. You know, you really have me worried there. Huh? <laughs> Could it be possible you care about me like that? Siori! <laughs> And anyway, it wasn't just me. Monica helped you as well. Hmm. Monica talked about some weird things yesterday. Like about her role in the literature club and how she felt responsible for me. 
but she really did help me get through it all. I'm really lucky to have her as a friend. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Seeing Suro like this gives me energy. It's like she's radiating it or something. Speaking of which, um, where is she? She went home after we got most of the work done. Or at least that's what she told me. I haven't really seen or heard from her since then. But I'd like to find her so I can say thanks. I'm so ready for the festival tomorrow. Her enthusiasm was getting to me. It was a little too much to handle. But it's better than seeing her down. Me too. No, you aren't. Huh? You still have to do your thing with Yuri. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, you know about that? Of course I do. Monica told me about the club's activities while she was here. Speaking of which, I think it's almost time for her to come over. Oh, really? That's too bad. It would have been nice if you could have helped me finish these pamphlets off. I'm sure you can manage, Siori. For the first time in a while, I can sense Siori's feeling okay. There's really nothing for me to worry about. Well, I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, right? Of course, I can't wait. There's one more thing. Siori looks away. Suddenly, it feels like all her enthusiasm just disappeared. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I, uh, I have something to say, Marisu. And I'm not sure if it's, it's time. But ever since I've been feeling better, I feel like I need to get out. What is it? I think I like you. Dad, straight up! Before it was us saying it, and now she's saying it? Okay. That's something. Huh? I know that you've done me, otherwise we wouldn't be best friends. She doesn't mean that, ma'am. Yep, exactly. Hmm, exactly. Not like that. I mean, you know. Sorry, what are you talking about? You're going to make me say it, aren't you? Here goes. I love you, Marisu. Oh! Okay! Wow! We did it, huh? Is this what Monica was talking about? Siori found the courage to confess to me? Siori! I have for a while now, and... I didn't want to tell you before because I didn't want you to care about me. But I feel different now, like everything is looking up. So I need to tell you how I feel, and... Siori takes a deep breath before collecting her thoughts. I need to know if you feel the same. I love you. I... I love you. I... I knew you didn't. What? Those are my true feelings. So, I guess I like you a lot too. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, having fun with you every day. Uh, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Marisu? Oh, so perfect, man. That is absolutely perfect. Suddenly, Suri wraps her arms tightly around me. Marisu, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Suri in my arms and pull her closer. You never have to let go of me again. I I love you, Marisu. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Dotty dot. I feel Suri's grip around me tighten a little bit. What is this? Suri? These are happy tears. First, all the rain clouds left. And now, I... It's okay, Siori. There's no need to say it, I know. You're here with me and that's all that matters right now. Marisu? Siori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow... <laughs> our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about these things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been, even if we really are a, a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Marisu. Sorry gazes at me once again. Even if I get really, really sad again, it's the best thing for me, right? Huh? I don't really understand what Sorry means by that. I was expecting pain when you told me you loved me. Right now, I don't know what I feel. If you accept that my confession will help me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best to me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Siori. 
I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Siori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her and her depression seems to be going away, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Siori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Siori's the most important person to me. So maybe we should have said that we'll stay friends or whatever that second option said. We can always try that next time. We can see how this route goes along. And then, yeah, we can try to see what happens when we say the second choice there. But for now, we love her, guys, and we're keeping it that way, okay? And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Yeah, man. With that, I leave Siori to her cleaning. I know I'm going to have a happy future with her, or I'm going to try my best to. On the way home, I find myself feeling better about Siori. I'm going to help get rid of the last of her bad feelings by her side. There's still something else in my mind, though. The past couple of days, Monica seemed to be blaming herself for Siori. Siori's feelings better are better now, though, so maybe Monica's too? Anyway, I should get home. Yuri's probably waiting for me already. All right, all right. We got 10 with our bear, Yuri, but no, we're with Siori now, so. Is this a form of cheating? Oh, God, what are we doing? Oh, God. No, we're with Siori now. Oh, my. Well, this is different. I skipped the Yuri part because that's pretty much the same as usual there. But we got Monica here right now. Hey, dear. Hello, Marisu. Monica? Just now we weren't... Uh, it's alright, Marisu. I just came by to let you know something. Um, well, it, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Th there's really no need for you to leave. I'll just be here briefly. Uh, I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Monica lets out a smile. Yeah, so, uh... I'll see you tomorrow. Yuri, no! You could have in, you could have joined in our wonderful combo here, but sure. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, Yuri. Sure thing. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Monica waves goodbye after her. Monica? I wasn't expecting to see you here today. This isn't what you think it is. In fact, it's the goodbye. Is this what you were talking about yesterday? Having the courage to say goodbye? She nods and smiles meaningfully. Uh, well, Siori's feeling a lot better, right? And I shouldn't stay here if it's going to stay that way. She's still blaming herself for Siori's depression? But she's feeling better now, so why is Monica still... You're welcome to stay here if you need to. After all, you've helped me save Siori's life. That's kind of you to offer. But no, the rain clouds will come back if I don't leave, and I just want you to be happy. After all, you gave me a chance. A chance I never would have had. A chance that I ruined. I thought maybe I didn't. That I could simply reverse what I did to her. But what she's seeing is more complex than I thought. You can't simply just get someone out of depression, you know. Even with what I can do. That's why I have to fix what I started. And the only way to do it for sure is by DELETING MYSELF! But you helped me save Siori and... You know, we're getting a happy ending and... Ugh. What are you saying? You're my friend and over the past week I'm glad we've had a chance to get closer. I'm not sure about your problems, but I don't want to see any of my friends in pain. So like Siori, I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you. She's clearly taken aback by my words. There's a brief moment of doubt in her eyes before she starts to talk again. It's a nice statement. But like I said, I just came here to say goodbye. I just have one last request. Name it. Promise me you enjoy the festival tomorrow. For me. Okay. But there must be something I can do to change your mind. Well, maybe not you in particular, but she stops herself from finishing that sentence. And <laughs> now, I've made my mind up. Can't go changing it now. <laughs> Just remember me, okay? Are you listening? I'm not talking to that you in the game anymore. I'm talking to the real you, Marisu! She's actually talking to me right now! Thinking back on it, I never really got to know the real you. Well, never mind. There's no point reflecting on that now. I'm leaving so that you can be happy. I'm glad you and Siori ended up together. I just want you to know that I still love you. Oh, With all my heart. Even if the you in the game chose someone else. Dang, man! Again! If we do choose the other choice of Siori, maybe this would turn out differently. I am not sure. But for now, we're going to still go through with this and see how it pans out in this game. And maybe those words don't mean much to you. 
But they're true, so... Before I disappear forever, just try not to remember me as... The selfish president. But just the good things about me, okay? Just... Just Monica! <laughs> all the poems I wrote, they're all about my realization of this world. And how I knew that you were the only real person in it. You know, I let the talks. They made me think hard about who I am. But I don't have much time left, so I'll finish up, okay? You're the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me. Thank you for trying to help me. For letting me try. The others. They deserve better than me. I haven't been the best president the club could have had. That's all I have to say. Thanks for listening. As Mon Monica starts to walk away, I try to reach out, but my body won't move. Monica looks back at me and I, and I catch a glimpse of a sad smile before she walks off. Why can't I say anything? I can't even act! What is this feeling? There has to... has to have been something more I could have done. I'm having more trouble understanding Monica than Siori. I want to reassure her. Get her to stay. What if I did something different? Dang. I'll fulfill your last request, Monica, and enjoy the festival like you wanted. Sure, man. Oh, Monica card deleted successfully. Thank you. Okay, I'll I'll accept your thanks. Wow. And Monica is gone right now from my files. Yep, she's gone. That right there, you can see it. She is gone right there. New Monica there. And it's all stuffed up. Let's continue on for a second, though. File error. Character slash Monica dot card. The file is missing or corrupt. The game is corrupt. Continuing from next chapter. Okay. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Siori. But Siori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funny enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Siori and Yuri at the festival. Oh my, oh my, Marisu! Okay! Very interesting stuff here, sure, but sadly, guys, this is where we are gonna end it. I think there's a way we can save Monica in the next video. So, yeah, get your butts prepared for that, guys. If you do want me to finish this off in the next episode, I promise that will likely be the finale. I'm just forgetting how long, like, this game can be. I know we're doing a mod right now, but... Yeah, this mod is still rather lengthy because it does take into account some of the content from the original, blah, 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 yada, yada. So, yeah, I think we have to finish it in the next episode, definitely. Definitely smash the like button, guys. And if you generally enjoyed the video, then smash that like button. And if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We check out all the Doki Doki mods and fan games and other indie games as well. But most importantly, guys, thank you for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>